here. Four trying to close the gap on the 22 here. Whoa! Car starting to move around there in the corner there. Thought he was going to get into the wall. The closer. He's done it before. Can he do it again? This is a spot in the final four that we're talking about. A spot in the final race at Phoenix. Harvick's good on points, more than likely, in case nothing happens. If nothing happens, while Logano entered this race below the cutoff line by a couple of points, not exactly in the best point spot. 22 needs this more than anybody. Joey likes the bottom. Normally, Harvick going up top to try to get the run. Big momentum here. Let's see what he does. Good block by Joey Logano. Great job by the 22 taking away that lane. Stay with it. Professional move right there. Was he setting him up? Was he maybe faking for a move later? We'll have to see what happens, though. Clock's ticking. Seven laps to go. He's going to try to go up high here. You don't want to go too high. You don't want to get into the wall. Hamlin got into the wall earlier, and now his point situation has been lessened a little bit. Less than 20 up on the cutoff now. Good corner for Harvick. He'll get a good run here. He goes high. He'll stay up there. He'll try to commit to the top here. Let's see what he does here. He'll try to maybe cut towards the inside. No run here. Good job by Joey taking away that taking away that line. Logano goes to the top, taking away his lane there. That way Logano has the clean air. A little bit more lap traffic as we cut away from the Harvickin car. And now five laps to go. Joey Logano has been exceptional here in this battle with maybe the most dominant driver this year, Kevin Harvick. Four laps between these two drivers in case a caution does not come out. This is a spot in the final four at Phoenix we're talking about here. And here comes Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman closing in quickly on Harvick here. Yeah, that may have shot Harvick's tires right there. Bowman following Harvick. Into the turn there. Logano oh. trying to stretch it out. That lap traffic. Lap traffic. May have played a factor here. Three laps to go. It's a three horse race. Under three laps Bowman go. trying to chase down Harvick. Harvick trying to get Logano again. It's anybody's game here. He's got a little bit of a run as Bowman is right there. Two laps to go. The gap is closed. <laughs> Everybody's got to be working hard. Logano trying to drive it out of two. Lap car is going to get out of the way. Big run for Harvick. Logano shuts the door again. White flag. Last lap. One more run here for Harvick to try to catch Logano. Harvick goes low. Logano stays up high. Harvick really drove it into that corner there, but he's not going to get the run. Where did he go? 
Logano's going to try to split the middle here. He'll block Harvick in. And this will get him to Phoenix. Joey Logano picks up his first win since the COVID shutdown. Harvick, Bowman, Keselowski, Kyle Busch, your top five. The first ticket to the championship four, the driver that won Phoenix in the spring ring. Won at Phoenix already this year. And as they were talking about, Logano won at Phoenix earlier this year. Already a champion, won the 2018 championship, and now you see the team celebrating. And that year that he won the championship in 2018, he won the first race of the third round at Martinsville back when he was not in a good points position there either. So he's done this before. Not one of the most dominant drivers throughout the year. But he can get it done when it counts. As this celebration moment is presented by Advance Auto Parts. He's really burning it down here on the front straightaway. He now has two weeks. Of course, he'll race in Texas. He'll race in Martinsville. But he's locked into the championship four. Their focus can now go to Phoenix. What a run by Joey Logano, doing everything to keep the four of Kevin Harvick behind him. That was uh, one of my uh, compadres back there. He'll celebrate with the fans. Some mixed reactions. He has done some controversial moves throughout his career, but he's not as bad as Kyle Busch. He'll take the checkered flag. He's one for a celebration. We've seen it before as he just dropped the checkered flag. <laughs> I think it was supposed to land on the hood and it missed. As NBC Sports will get an interview with him here. In the battle, head, head up, heads up with Kevin Harvick every lap. Go, oh, you gotta want it, man. This is uh, what an amazing team uh, this Shell Pennzoil team is. We, uh, oh my goodness, I'm more out, still more time in the mirror than I was in the windshield there. But um, pit stops put us in position, got us the lead, and uh, the four is fast. <laughs> he was real fast, especially on the straightaways. He was really fast on those straightaways, and I thought if I can hold him off the first 15 laps. I have a chance, um, and actually dirty air was the best for us. As we caught lap traffic, I was able to gap ourselves uh, as he got more dirty air, and I was able to draft somebody to so we'll slow down the straightaway. But, um, man, I'm exhausted after that. But we're going to Phoenix and racing for a championship again. Heck, yeah. How much of that was on your mind as you're battling Kevin every lap that this was your shot to make it to Phoenix? Yeah, it's on your mind every lap. Uh, you know, you come into this race knowing... If you can win this thing, you got an amazing advantage. The same thing happened to us in 2018 uh, when we raced for the win at Martinsville, knowing that we have two races just to battle for nothing but the, the championship. So I can't believe it. Uh, I mean, especially the way the beginning of the race is going. We're running back there, not scoring stage points, running around 10th, and good strategy by Paul. Like I said, great pit stops. And this Shell Pennzoil Mustang stays for a championship in Phoenix. Welcome to the championship four. Joey Logano gets the win at Kansas in front of these fans, Parker, and going to celebrate this one all the way to Phoenix. Right, Barney. The guy he held off was Kevin Harvick in that awesome battle there towards the end of the race. What more did you need to be able to get by Joe Logano? Uh, we just you know, needed to get off the pit road first. It came down to controlling that restart, and uh, we lost that lost the lead there on the restart and wound up um, you know, trying to battle. Didn't get the lead on the restart, but uh, just... Really, really fast. Jimmy Jones, uh, Ford Mustang, all our guys did a great job. We had a fast car and, and just uh, moved all over the racetrack, and we weren't the best behind somebody. Um, but, you know, I had a lot of options as they made the car better towards the end of the race. So um, good run for us. Just uh, wish we, wish we could have won, but uh, one short. Joey just said in his interview there that he watched the mirror more than the actual road ahead of him. We saw you try to almost trick him at times. Is that you were trying to do going low, and 
Do you think there was more opportunities maybe to go low if you found that earlier? Um, I was a little bit, I was a little bit tighter low. I needed the lap cars to time out well, but uh, yeah, Joey's a good blocker. <laughs> well, that sums it up. Joey was able to hold him off with those great blocks. Big time finish in the round of eight. Hopefully, he'll pick up that checkered flag from off the ground. Logano wins and he clinches a spot in the final four. Texas is next.